All right, guys, Nick coming at you again. So most of you guys know that I'm a pretty big fan of these squirrel steps just because they're awesome. They, they weigh just a little bit more than a pound, and they go on a tree quick and quiet, and uh, I really like using them. They fit real well in my bag that I keep on the back of my saddle. Let me shoot 360 degrees around a tree. They're just awesome. Um, I've tried platforms. Not really a platform guy, I had a Predator. Um, and just for a lot of reasons, it didn't really work out for me personally. I know there's a lot of guys that use them, like them, kill deer out of them, awesome. Um, but I did, I found something on the classifieds on a Saddle Hunter forum, and I just couldn't pass it up. Uh, I like old gear, I like monkeying with defunct, no longer in a production products. And uh, I came across this bad boy, uh, $75 to my door from a good friend you know who you are and uh i've been playing with it i like it i won't lie i wanted to uh <clears throat> kind of explore platforms and this one just seemed like it addressed some of the shortcomings that the predator had for me um it was flexible had, had a lot of spring in it there was always a pop a click and no matter what i greased it with i tried you know grease i tried uh oil i tried um, soap uh, rubbed up on that that hinge point and it just always would have a click you know some days you didn't hear it some days you'd bounce back and forth on that platform and it just click 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 um, the camming action for me never worked that great um, camming it down there's just not enough platform and it's not robust enough and you don't have enough leverage to really bite down and cam it like you would a, a long wolf stand or something like that um, and a lot of times I'd get that top platform pulling away uh, but the biggest issue, <clears throat> aside from just the weight and the bulk that I didn't care for, um, as far as once you had it in the tray and were using it, I didn't feel like it handled side pressure as well as some people have said that it did. And I feel like I'm kind of spoiled coming from a ring of steps. Because when you got uh, when you got a ring of steps, you got that step, and you can put pressure on it, and uh, they just they don't roll. And to me, that Predator platform. It's got those wings that come out, um, but that little bitty toe hold at an angle like that, when you were swinging around 180 degrees on the tree, didn't feel great. Um, I just never felt comfortable with it. Had a couple issues where I lost some grip on it, and, and just for me personally, it, it ended up going on the classifieds, and it went on to somebody who, from what I understand, is very very happy with it. Uh, but this one, you can see when it's on the tree, you've got a lot more pronounced angle right there um the it's also flatter and a little bit wider than a predator and i feel like on a saddle platform i feel like depth is kind of wasted you know on a on a tree stand the further it goes away from the tree the more room you have more you can kind of stretch your legs out so to speak but with a saddle platform that doesn't really count as long as it's big enough to put your feet on it doesn't matter how far it comes out really what you need is more width and the ability to side load it better and i'm going to show you this like I said, I'm, I'm still a ring of steps guy, but I've hunted with this a couple of times now, and uh, I like it. I'm going to show you how it goes on the tree. Uh, it is very easy to set up. Now, a ring of steps with an over center buckle, um, those set very well in my mind, um, but this is a lot easier. So I'll show you how it goes on the tree. When I carry it in, it actually stays lashed to the bottom of my pack. Um, that may change because I've only hunted with it a couple of times, but so far that's worked real well. Um, this platform, by the way, I want to say it weighs like um, right at four pounds. So it is a scooch heavier than the than the Predator, uh, the Gen 2s that they have out now that they reinforced. Um, but it's steel. So, um, but anyway, I've just got a lone wolf strap on it. Got a little yak grip cover on it. I've used those forever and they work real well. When I carry it up the tree, I generally either clip it. Um, to my gear loops on the back of my saddle or I'll just kind of sling it Wear it like a purse Going up the tree And that works fine. That's how I used to wear my predator that worked real well um, If you're using bolts to climb and you got that Allen cartridge holder that goes really well on here, too um, Or actually I guess it would go here on this side um, I used to do that with the predator and that was just a really I did like that part of it. That was very, very slick. 
you put that predator in your pack and when you pull it out you got your bolts you got your drill you got your platform you got everything you need and you're wearing your saddle so that's what i did but when this goes on the tray That's it. That's set. Step up on it. There we go. Good. Let me see. I can swing. What I really like about it is that side pressure. So I can swing all the way to the back side of that tree. It never shifts. Come all the way around. Back side of the tree, and it just is solid with those two legs. It's a lot more solid. Um, now it does pick well on these crocs. I should have put some bed liner on it before I painted it. That steel is a little slick, um, but but I like it. I mean, this works. You know. And and I did not feel that secure on a predator putting that extreme amount of a uh, side load on it. I'm going to bring the camera in a little bit closer for you. So there you go. Um, like I said, I'm still the ring of steps guy, but uh, this turned out real well. Did did kind of a DIY sponge camo on it, hunted with it. Um, for hunts where I'm a little bit lower, um, I'll probably end up using it more like early season hog hunting and stuff like that. When you're hunting in the palmetto flats and you're trying, you know, just get 10 feet off the ground, just so you can see a little bit, uh, but not so high that the early season vegetation is blocking you off. You know, it is true that you make a little bit less movement positioning for a shot, especially that off, offside, weak side shot. Um, you know, coming up and over the bridge, that's a little bit easier. Um, on trees <coughs> where you can't get that full 360, like a really heavy leaner, um, sometimes a platform can make that a little bit easier. If you're going to be camped out on one side of the tree, that's, that, that's really the main problem I have with the platform. Is you're limited to that side of the tree um, so if something develops and you have a lot of action going on behind you or on that weak side with a ring of steps I can reach up grab my tether and scoot around to face that action and with a platform you're just you're kind of stuck it's kind of like being in a climber where you know you're, you're stuck facing that main direction I mean, you can stand up and spin around and stuff like that but your default resting position you're locked in on one area with a saddle and a ring of steps you're not that way um, I can see using this um, for, for that, like I said, hunting a little bit lower, um, or may, maybe just on lazy hunts, you know, I got at least this 120 acres where you're not walking miles and miles or paddling in somewhere, um, you know, a situation like that, sometimes it's easier to just throw it around, since the cam buckle, this doesn't cam or anything, it comes off the tree, nice and easy, goes on the tree, Nice and easy and very quiet. And pretty much as soon as you get that, put a little weight on it, 
that's it. It can't tip forward because them two legs on it. Um, I like it. Now you know. Motor, motor buster. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, if you like videos about saddle hunting and deer hunting and other types of outdoor activities, take a second, click on the link, subscribe. What have you got to lose?